With Tim O'Malley, I'm Tim Priester for Irish Illustrated's One Question, Two Analysts, Three Minutes. And our question for today is, who is the fifth skill position starter, presuming that Kevin Austin, Braden Lindsey, Tommy Tremble, and a running back right now, Jafar Armstrong, are the, the four starters at the skill positions? Yeah, I think we, we probably both agree there would be multiples during the course of the game. They're not going to be going out there running one set. But I, I think Notre Dame operates best when they're in two tight ends. That's why I thought Cole Komet was such a huge loss in the decision because there's a drop-off between Cole Komet to Tommy Tremble and probably Tremble to Wright. But I think it's, I think it's Brock Wright because of a, a bit of a run first. I hate to say run first, but a, a, an emphasis on the running game to protect the offense overall by Tommy Reese and not putting it all on Ian Book. I like the uh, – if you have Lindsey and Austin, as good as we think they can be, there's enough speed on the field to run that too tight as you're 50% of the time, and then everything else trickles from there. And you want to put it on the shoulders of the offensive line. It's, yeah. it's your veteran yeah. group, six starters returning. I mean, I think you can – I know what you're saying when don't put it all on the shoulders of Ian Book because nobody wants to do that. As you said recently, 30 passes a game is good, 40 passes is not. Uh, you right. want it on the shoulders of book, but first and foremost, you have that veteran offensive line. I understand that uh, Michael Mayer may be, may be a tight end that fits yes. into that, yeah. that process. But I also think that, you know, you can do some things with, with, uh, with two running backs, especially with yeah. Chris Tyree coming in to the program. And if they intend to utilize Avery Davis, which they've done very infrequently, but he is the type of guy that if you want to get a little bit more speed on the field with two running backs or a running back in a slot, or, or however you want to use it, uh, Tyree and Avery Davis are two of those options. And we both feel like Jafar Armstrong, even if he wins the running back job, will play some slot. I just think it makes right. them bigger and stronger than putting just sticking Lawrence Keys there and asking him to make all the plays. Now, Keys will be an extremely important player because they need that type of wide receiver as well, especially third down player. Um, I, th I think it's interesting when we talked about this question, we said a running back. Because that's what it is. He's a running back is one of the positions. It might not be Javar Armstrong, but maybe Jafar Armstrong is the second running back. We just don't know who the running back is yet either. Right. And it'll also be interesting to see the evolution of Tommy Reese because he probably is a guy that wants to, you know, he doesn't want Ian Book running all the time, probably wants to protect him a little bit, and the two tight ends make sense. But we also know that Brian Kelly likes to spread it out and throw the football yes. too. Now, I think yeah. he's kind of past that whole – you know, that stage of his career as a play caller and, 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 and things along those lines. But uh, the, the, here's the best news of this whole thing. There are many options here. Yeah. They don't have yeah. to be married to one philosophy. I think you and I are, uh, I'm definitely old school. You're, you're trending in that direction in terms <laughs> of, uh, you know, the run game. I mean, I just, I've always been a big believer in the run game and the two tight ends gives them a good chance, especially while you still have Brock Wright, uh, in the program in his last year. And when I say 50% of two tights, that's a lot because the rest of the 50% is. is the other part. That's right. So 50% would probably be the high end, but I, I think that's where they might go. Right. Plenty of options for Notre Dame's offense this fall. That's one question, two analysts in three minutes on Irish Illustrated.